Hey, what's up? I'm Tron Moses of Tron Moses Media. And today I want to show you how not to create Photoshop actions. And the reason I came up with this video is because I watched somebody create actions and they were doing it the wrong way. This video is not to throw rocks or stones at that individual, but to show you how to create actions because at first for a long time i was creating actions the wrong way myself so this is a help video okay all right this is i'm gonna show y'all first how not to create actions well this could stay right here it don't matter all right so i'm gonna create a folder and i'm gonna call it how not to all right, and so first thing I wanna do is, let's say, let's say we wanna create a dodge and burn action. Go and color that orange. First thing I wanna go do over here is grab me two curves layers. All right, this is gonna be dodge my bottom is always dodge my top is always burn that's just how i flow okay so i'm gonna lift the dodge up i'm gonna invert it i'm gonna bring the burn down i'm gonna invert it Okay, now I usually do more to my dodge and burn folder, but right now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just hit Control G to put it into a group and name it dodge and burn. I'm gonna make this orange. I'm gonna stop that. Now I wanna create another group. Let's let's make a group, um, not another group, another uh, action. Let's call this action color grade, okay? Let's start it. Call it color grade. And this one will be blue. Remember I'm showing you how not to create actions how not to create actions. Okay, first thing we wanna do, let's say we color grade it, right? We're gonna go and color balance. Now I'm not moving any, uh, I'm not moving anything in here. I'm not touching anything in here. I'm just showing you. All right, we got that in there. We want hue saturation in there. Maybe selective color as well. Wow, we got that in there. We got that in there. Now, before I leave from here and, 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 and show you what's wrong with this, I wanna tell you what's wrong with this while I'm doing it. What's wrong with this is I'm actually clicking on the layers and it's recording me clicking on the layers. That's what's gonna mess it up. It's recording me clicking on these layers. So we're gonna name this color grade. Later for that, oh. Okay, what, what color did I make it? I made it blue. All right, that's blue. Now, let me show you this, why this is messed up. I told you why it's messed up, and I'm gonna show you it's messed up. Because when you're recording actions, you can't be clicking on anything. Okay, say I'm creating dodge and burn actions, right? And while I'm creating the dodge and burn actions, I'm actually clicking on the layers. Now I'm creating uh, color grade actions. I'm actually clicking on the layers. And why that is gonna mess up is because you're recording all those steps when you're clicking on stuff, which means every time you try to load the actions, it's gonna be looking for those names and clicking on things, which is gonna cause it to mess up. That's what you don't wanna do. Now let me show you. All right, I'm gonna use a good action up here clean up work. I'm going to use another good action up here, dodge and burn. Now let me show you this when I click on this dodge and burn. All right, that went through, but when I click on, click on color grade, everything messed up now. Now it's messed up. Now watch this. Color grade, see how it's messing up? 
Now let me say I want to go to that dodge and burn action up there. Everything is messing up. Let me take all of this off and show you again. It's not supposed to do that. Okay, dodge and burn. Then I color gray. But say I want to dodge and burn again. Now my dodge and burn is messing up. See, this is not how it's supposed to be. Let me show you how it's supposed to be. And that's because I went through recording me clicking on everything. All right, clean up work. That loads beautifully. We're going to click on liquefy photo. That loads beautifully. Dodge and burn. That loads beautifully. Uh, my black and white help layer that I use. I'm going to unclick that because I don't want to look at a black and white photo right now. Say I want to do curves contrast. That, that's my little curves contrast. You, uh, you take the, the opacity down to taste. We're not retouching that right now. I'm just showing y'all how to not. Let's go to image sharpener. And I'm about to show y'all the right way to create actions. You do not want to create actions where you keep on pressing on layers and it's recording you pressing on layers. That is not what you want to do. All right, come on and load. Do y'all realize we got people? Come on, Photoshop. We got people watching right now. All right, see everything loaded beautifully, nothing messed up. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to, let's name that how to. All right, so this is gonna be dodge and burn. I'll show you how to create Actions. You go over here to layer. Remember, you're going to create all your actions from over here on layer. Now, why are we going to layer? Because over here on layer, we're not coming over here and clicking on anything. So it's never going to record us clicking on anything, which means I can load an action as many times as I want and it will never mess up. All right, so we're going to create, uh, let's say, dodge and burn. Say I want this to be Dodge. So I click on that. I lift that. All right, that's my Dodge layer. Now notice I'm creating everything from over here. I'm not clicking on the layers. It's not recording me clicking on anything. Another Curves layer. But what I should have did was invert that. Now I'm gonna show you two how you can invert as well. All right, now say I wanna, later for inverting right now, but say I wanna make this into a group. What we do is I hit shift, Alt, left bracket. I select those without touching them. Without touching them, go over here to new and group from layers. Then I name this, excuse me. And I put seven and I name this dodge and burn. Let's go with any color, let's go with yellow. Now this is a group. Now let's do color grade. Color grade. I don't have to make it a color in there, it'll just be black. All right, we're doing the same thing. We're going over here, we're going a new adjustment layer. Say I want hue saturation. Okay, now we got hue saturation. Say I want color balance. Now we got color balance and say I want selective color. 
Just like the other one, selective color. And I don't want to. I don't want to uh, sound like a broken record, but notice how I'm not going over there and touching anything. Shift Alt Left Bracket Key selects them. Because if you go over there and touch them, Photoshop is going to record you touching them. I, I got to emphasize that. Never go over there and touch them. Never. Under no circumstance do you ever go over there and touch a layer. Okay. And we name this color gray. And the color we're going to make this right now. Let's just, uh, what color did I make it? I ain't making no color. Let's just make it orange. Who cares? All right, so now we got our color gray and we got our dodge and burn. I'm going to delete these. Let's go over here and, and watch it work. Okay, so I'm going to start with clean up work, uh, liquefy and liquefy. Come on, don't take too much time. There you go. Dodge and burn. Uh, say it, then I want a color gray. Then I want to dodge and burn again. Then I want to color grade again. Then I want to dodge and burn again. Then I want to color grade again. See, when you create the actions without clicking on anything specific in Photoshop, without clicking on these layers, it comes out right. So that's how you create professional actions in Photoshop. You go over here to layers and you create everything from over there. So anyway, that's how you create professional Photoshop actions. I am Tron Moses of Tron Moses Media. And look, this thing still loading. It's still loading. My advanced frequency separation action still loading. Hold up. I can't close out to it load because I want y'all to see that these actions do not mess up. All right, so that's my actions and everything comes out right just the way I want it. Nothing messed up. You witnessed it yourself. Nothing has messed up because I didn't create anything over here by clicking on anything over here. I have to say it again to stress it. Photoshop records you clicking on those layers. That's why those layers mess up. All right, so I'm Tron Moses of Tron Moses Media. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.